All right. All right. I'm Bader Games back again, giving you a bonus video broadcast. Okay. The reason for the bonus is because there was bonus material that I had from the IEGA that I didn't include earlier. So I want, to, I want to make sure that I give you everything that I happen to know. And I want to include that in this video right here, right now. So what I talked about in the previous one, I broke it down. I talked about the IQL, which was going to start off the IEGA season. And the IQL is the IEGA Qualification League. A fantastic tournament that's going to get everyone in that competitive spirit. They're going to get familiar with what the league's all about, the community and the IQL is if you're hap if you happen to be if you happen to be the best one of the best you're going to qualify out of that league for the I E G A Invitational. All right, so that's the that's the I E G A Championship I E G A Invitational that I talked about on the previous video. That's what the IQL is all about. You're going to battle your way. You're going to show that you're going to show that you can you're going to show and improve that you deserve to be among the best and you're going to compete in the IEGA Invitational, which will happen at the end of the year. I also talked about in the previous video and what I want to recap as well is the football summit. So following the IQL will be the football summit and the football summit again is totally innovative one of its kind, a tournament that's going to have players of all skill levels battle it out. No matter where you happen to be drawn and ranked, you're going to battle your way to show that you deserve to be at the top of the summit, at the very top. And that's the that's the unique tournament that's going to follow the IQL. All right? Fantastic tournament. I can't wait to play in it. I'm going to be playing in all, all tournaments because, I, I, I mean, I love what the IEGA has to offer. I'm a big FIFA uh, FIFA gamer. I love the game. So anything that that allows me to continuously play throughout the year, I'm all for it. All right. Now, following the football summit, and one thing that I failed to mention in the previous email, I mean email, in the previous video that I want to share right now is the wild games. And I'm going to go into some I'm going to go into a lot of detail with regards to the wild games because again, just like the football summit, this format for the wild games is totally unique okay it's totally unique so what the wild game does it takes amazing elements of all pretty much of all the tournaments that the IEGA has kind of put together and then pits it in one unique format that gamers love I mean the response was tremendous last year uh, everyone kept asking to you know for for more of the wild games um, to be brought into the mix to play so the IEGA knew that they had their hands on a gold mine they decided to um, they decided to definitely offer this tournament again this year. So FIFA 19 is going to have the wild games, and the wild games consists of everyone that wants to participate in it entered into what is a random draw. And the reason why the random draw is so well and loved is that there's no you know there's there's no pitting certain players in certain groups or or, or having what could be perceived as an unfair challenge. It's a, it's a random draw. It's a draw that's going to be putting players um, in specific groups that they're going to battle their way out to show who is the very best out of that group. And the reason why they call it the wild game is because it is wild. It is completely wild. So random draw, players don't know who to really prepare for until the draw happens. And then within that draw, you're going to be battling out I think in last year's uh, last year's tournament, there are five players per group. So I think the I think the number of players per group uh, is dependent on how many people enter. But last year there were five players per group, and you had to battle your way home and away against those opponents. Okay, and the season the season was really cool because it was short and concise. I believe that it consisted of. Uh, two weeks of regular play, so one week home. If you happen, to, if your first scheduled game is home, but one week home, second week away, and then it went right into the playoffs where it was like elimination. All right. If I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be the format for this year in terms of uh, how condensed that season's going to be, but I know that it will have players playing home, playing away. The best player out of that group 
based off of their home and away schedule against their opponents. Because uh, obviously you, you get three points for winning, one point for a draw, and zero points if you happen to lose. So the best player, the best score coming out of those head-to-head matches will determine who's the best of the group. And then the best of the group represents the group in what happens to be the playoffs. All right? And the, another really cool thing about the wild games is that they, they name the groups based off of, you know, fierce, intense animals in the animal kingdom. So last year there were groups called the Cobra Group. The reason why I remember that is I was in the Cobra Group. They had the Lion Group. They had the Elephant Group. Uh, I believe they had... I believe they had, I mean, this is a mystical, but I think they might have even had like the dragon group. I could be wrong, but there's animals, fierce animals, and you're basically lumped into those groups and you're battling your way out of it. Hence the wild games. All right. So that, that's another tournament that the IEGA is going to have to offer and timing for it will be, will be shared, but I chronologically, chronologically, how it's going to play out is IQL. IEGA Qualification League. You got the IQL. Following the IQL, you'll have the Football Summit. And the Football Summit is, again, going to be another intense tournament. Following the Football Summit will be the Wild Games. Okay? And the reason why I'm not giving you guys specific dates right now is because the league's about to kick off. That information is going to be provided to you. And all those details are going to be shared there. Okay, but in a roundabout way, you know, let me tell you that the IQL starts in November. Okay, November is going to be played out. There's going to be holiday. There's going to be holiday breaks within there as well. Obviously, because when we go from November to December, we, um, the league's going to consider um, that players are going to have to manage around, you know, their holiday schedules. So there's going to be November, December, January for the IQL. The football summit is going to start in Feb. Football Summit's going to start in Feb. So that's going to battle out. I believe that's going to be about two months of gameplay. Amazing. Scheduled scheduled matches, scheduled competition. Fierce. Following the Football Summit will be the Wild Games. And again, like I said, the Wild Games and specific timing, I'll share with you guys at a later date. And that information will definitely be provided by the IEGA. But chronologically, you can see how those tournaments are going to flow. And then following the Football Summit will be the IEGA Invitational, okay? I like to refer to it as the IEGA Championships because obviously everyone's coming together, but it's the same. IEGA Invitational, where the best will compete and the best are competing because those are the best that qualified from the IQL. So you see how it kind of flows? You see how the leagues kind of put things together? Really cool, really cool. And the reason why this works out so well in my opinion, is because you've got those scheduled tournaments that you can plan for. You can plan for when you're going to be involved um, with with those games, with the competition. Um, you can obviously, you know, make sure you manage that with um, with everything that's happening in your world, in your life. You know what I mean? So the I the IEGA is going to have these offerings so that you enjoy FIFA 19. You see it on the screen right here. So they can enjoy FIFA 19 throughout the entire year. You know, not everyone, not everyone is going to be playing Ultimate Foot. Ultimate Foot's great. I got nothing against it. But not everyone's going to have that level of commitment for the Ultimate Foot. Okay? There's a lot of games required if you want, if you you really want to compete and try to be one of the best at Ultimate Foot. Um, You know, for for a large part of it too, like there's, there's, um, there's a financial part to it. Because you can obviously, you know, purchase your players and things, things of that nature. And not everyone, not everyone does the journey. Great offering within a game. You know, not everyone does the journey, does, you know, some of that, um, you know, kind of like RPG element to play, like to your player development. Um, so understanding that, the IEGA sees an opportunity, sees an opportunity to provide more for that FIFA gaming community. And that's what it's all about. They're trying to build on that community. They're trying to, you know, keep everyone involved. They love FIFA 19 or FIFA in general. They just love the game. So the so the developers of the league, you know, want to share that love and have everyone enjoying the game that they love throughout the entire year. Okay. 
I EA Sports should definitely recognize what IEGA is doing and and bring those bring those guys on board in some type of collaboration because I think I think the thinking is very, it's very they're very like minded in terms of what they want the game to be for the gaming community. It's really cool. Okay, so understanding some of those gaps of players, you know, not necessarily not necessarily playing Ultimate Foot, not playing you know the journey. Um, also, an element that EA offers is the online tournaments. You know, so when you're able to compete for, you know, the Continental Cup and and you know, in the Shield and things like that nature, not everyone plays those. Okay, so given that, you have another you have another offering. You have the IEGA. You have you have what I just mentioned, three three guaranteed tournaments to play in three guaranteed tournaments to play in. And if you happen to be really good at what you're doing within the league, you have that opportunity to play in, in the Invitational. So like a fourth tournament, which 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 is unheard of, right? It, it's, it's, they're going to be tournaments that are not only um, fun, not only competitive, because everyone likes to just, you know, everyone likes to just test themselves, see how good they are. But the part that cannot be missed and is the most important part, in my opinion, is is finding friends to play with, finding like-minded individuals to just game, talk FIFA, you know, talk talk soccer in general, whether it's international soccer, whether it's you know club soccer. You got, you got like-minded people online that share the same interest and can just talk about the game. They can talk about things that they like, things that they want to improve. The the IEGA is is like. It's a great, it's a great hotbed of gamers with amazing opinions and feedback for the game. In my opinion, that's a big reason why the why the tournaments that the IEGA has to offer are so well liked because it's 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 piping in to the players to the gamers that have been involved with those tournaments, getting the feedback, adjusting things, and and just improving on it. So you have that same. Um, that same group of gamers available to help improve on the EA Sports game as well. It's really, it's really cool. I'm looking forward to the season because I love the game and I like the competition. I like the community. The IEGA community is so well received. There's no jerks in there. Everyone's competitive, so it gets a little testy. But at the end of the day, everyone's everyone's fun. Everyone's friendly, and everyone's very welcoming. Such a diverse community. So with the information that I want to provide, and I want to recap it real quick for you guys so you know exactly what to expect with this upcoming IEGA FIFA 19 season. All right? So right from the jump, like I said, the IQL is going to kick off the season. IQL stands for the IEGA Qualification League. And with that, you're going to battle your way with a amazing season play. So season play where you're going to be competing against 20 other, uh, not 20 other, but you're you're going to be amongst 20 players, okay? Including yourself. There are going to be 20 players, depending on the region that you're in. You're going to be in your region playing against 19 other competitors, battling it out to see who will be the best out of that IQL. But in addition to that, you're going to be playing your matches, tr- looking to qualify for the playoff play within the IQL. And then out of the playoff play, you're going to then do you're going to then be competing in some knockout rounds to then get to the very um, to get to the finals where it's going to be you against one other opponent to establish who is the best IQL. All right. Then coming out of the IQL, the action does not stop. It goes right in. I mean, there's going to be some somewhat of a transition, somewhat of a break, right? But you're going to go right into the next tournament, which is the Football Summit. And the Football Summit, like I said, is so innovative that it's going to have a, a larger group of competitors, more than, the, more than the 19 that you had in the IQL. But you're going to have a larger group of competitors playing to establish themselves to be at the top of that summit. All right, so it's going to be a random draw type tournament. Depending on where you happen to be in terms of your ranking, you may have several matches to have to battle your way up to get to the top. You may be fortunate enough to get a, an amazing draw and happen to be one of uh, closer to the top, or maybe at the top, depending on the draw. And you're going to be battling to hold your spot. All right, so it's great. There's 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 challenges. There's the, uh, defending. All that's going to happen in the football summit. 
following the football summit is the tournament that again is just as innovative just as unique in terms of its offering only available from the iega and that is the wild games and the wild games takes elements from the iql takes elements of the football summit and puts it in one great gumbo one great um miracle sauce all right and I, i'm not going to reveal the secret ingredients but essentially it takes some of the really cool things in terms of the random draw the grouping um, the intense, compact com- competitiveness and puts it in the wild games. So if the format's going to be similar to last year in terms of the number of opponents within your group, that is to be determined. But if it is going to follow the same way, you're going to be you're going to be one of four other competitors. So there's going to be five in your group. You're going to be battling it out within your group. And the reason why it's the wild games is because every group has a unique animal um, animal title, cobra, lion, tiger, cheetah, um, elephant, uh, the list goes on, but you're going to be battling in your, in your, in your established group to show dominance. All right. And if you happen to be the best, the best within the group, only the best within the group, you're going to move out of that group and battle amongst the other bests to, sh- to see who is the, the absolute alpha to see who is the alpha alpha animal alpha gamer coming out of the wild games to be the best all right that's the full that's the iega wild games okay coming out of the iega wild games for those for those that were good enough that were battling their brains out that were poised and able to adjust to every every competitor and show how nice they were at the game for those that won their IQL region play will be competing in the IEGA Invitational. The IEGA Invitational. To close out the year, the biggest tournament that the IEGA will have to offer because it's going to be pitting the best from all over, the best from all over this online community and competing for the grand prize. I can't wait for this season to kick off. I hope you guys found this information very helpful. No, trust me, I'm going to be doing my best to compete in this IEGA. And I look forward to all the tournaments to play in because the community I love, the gaming I love, and the, I mean, the game itself is what I love to do. All right. So this is Vader Games giving you another bonus video reveal and bonus material from the IEGA with regards to the wild games that I wanted to include in this video and a recap of everything that has to offer. Um, Any questions, make sure you follow up with the league. The information provided today will also be available um, with regards to the site and information that the league's gonna be giving out. All right, Vader Games, pleasure to give you this information, pleasure to be asked to do it. Catch me online, follow me on Twitch, Follow the league on Twitch. Don't miss out. You want to be a part of this. All right? Vader Games, signing off. I'm out.